so uh, next we uh, next we should probably have a look at some very good news for people who like being able to get to airports easily. And who doesn't? The only thing better that well, no, the only thing not not better than flying is is getting to somewhere where you can just go on, Jake. Just I've, I've lost my yeah. yeah no, it's, I don't know where you were where, no. where you were going. But um, we had uh, you know a, a week or two ago, um, you know, during our our break from the podcast, um, some f- some good news finally. Finally, on the Melbourne Airport rail, um, with the airport uh, basically throwing in the towel and um, giving up on its plans for the underground airport station in favour of the above ground option that had been pushed forward all along by the state government. Um, this came after the mediator's report uh, from the federal government, uh, from, from Neil Scales there, um, basically said, uh, you know, it's that, that, the, that the, the, the above ground solution would be the better option. So um, Melbourne Airport, uh, under fire from, you know, all sides, essentially, um, including the, 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 the federal government, the state government, the TWU, um, as, as, as they, they waved the white flag um, and they announced that, you know, in the interest of getting this rail link finally built, they were going to support the above ground station. So basically the mediator came in, the referee, the parent had come in and just went, stop squabbling and get on with it. Essentially, yeah. Um, and I think stop squabbling in it and get on with it was the attitude of, of most people towards the Melbourne Airport rail link at this point. Um because it's a saga that's been going on for way too long. It is a saga that's going on way for long, but we still don't really know exactly when they're going to get cracking with this thing because bear in mind the announcement was made, I think, late 2020. I seem to remember um, Dan Andrews, I think, and Scott Morrison on a very awkward Zoom call or whatever it was to make the announcement. Um, we still don't have a clue on this is, this is going to happen. They've been talking about a train link in Melbourne for... Hundreds, I think, thousands of years since the dawn of mankind. Since since since, since before Melbourne even existed. Before Melbourne even um, existed, since, when since, it was simply protons and neutrons. Yeah, yes. yeah, no, they're, they're back in the primordial soup. You know, <laughs> uh, various various protozoans were, yeah. were asking various uh, amoebas when there was going to is be a, li- a real rail science. Or have you made that up? Is that uh, is that actual? Because well, I don't look, I don't know. I'm terrible at science. Well, I, I know that protozoans and amoeba and amoebas are real things. So. Um, it sounds like how Jedi's use the Force. But anyway. That's midi chlorians. Oh, I gosh, think you're find, such a Adam. nerd, aren't you? Midi chlorians. Yeah, it's 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 um um actually Adam. Uh, it, it's midi chlorians. Midi chlorians right. are how they use the Force. Go on. Uh, well, well, yeah. Anyway, so we still don't actually have a date. It's when this yeah, is it's it's start. been delayed uh, already for four years. Um, and I think you know uh, the the Victorian Premier Jacinta Allen was like, look, we can't wish away the time that's been spent, you know, w- that's been wasted squabbling over this airport rail link. But now we can finally get start, you know, moving and getting things done. And the Victorian government had kind of been moving and getting things done already. It had acquired, you know, this this parcel of land um, for the station at Keylor. East, I think, which is going to serve Key Law East and the Airport West precinct on the rail link. Um, and they're also moving ahead with plans to turn Sunshine Station into this, you know, big rail hub that's going to link the Melbourne Airport um, line into the rest of the of the Melbourne trains uh, system. By the way, just want to address a little thing here. here you know you will not have to change trains at Sunshine to get into the city. You can go directly from Melbourne. Once the rail link is built, you'll be able to go directly into the CBD from the airport. No change at Sunshine necessary. Sunshine's just where it's going to link up with the rest of the trains. Okay? Okay. Okay. 